Hey y'all, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, welcome. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So listen, y'all, I've kind of been sleeping on Apple Calendar just a little bit and low-key using it the wrong way. Thinking I was doing something, child. Which is wild because I've been Team Apple for a little minute now. But it's all good. If you're like me and need to get it all the way together, I'm about to show you how I leveled up my planning game using Apple Calendar. So you can stay more organized and less overwhelmed. Let's get into it. I want to start by giving y'all a quick little rundown. As soon as you open the app, you get a clean layout showing the year, month, and day view. You can zoom in or out on your iPhone to resize your events. So if you want to see all the little details or just get a quick overview of your day, you've got options. You can tap the icon next to the search bar to switch up how you see your events. There's compact, stack, and detailed. There's also a list view that pops up at the bottom. When you're in the day view, it shows all your events for that day. There's a few other views you can switch to and you can still zoom in and out to see more or less of your event details. Tap the icon next to the search bar for a multi view. It lets you see two days side by side. And if you want to see your week at a glance, just turn your phone sideways. On your iPad or Mac, you can definitely switch it up. You can view your calendar by year, month, week or day. Your navigation bar is at the top right. If you tap the calendar icon, it'll pull up a full list of calendars you have to choose from. The inbox icon shows your calendar invites. You'll have three options, including accept, decline, or maybe. Once you choose, it'll send a notification back to the person who invited you. Next up is your list view of all the events you have scheduled. The final icon is the plus sign, and this is where you add all your new events or reminders to your calendar. Down at the bottom, you have the option to delegate calendars so you can share access with others. Under that is the add calendar button to create new calendars, and the hide all button allows you to show or hide all your calendars in your main view. You can now link reminders to your calendar by selecting scheduled reminders in your calendar list. In the reminder app, when you set a task for a specific day, it'll show up in your calendar app too. You can also set tasks for a specific time and mark them done in your calendar app, which I love. If you need to reschedule an event, just drag it to a new date. You can add new reminders by tapping the plus icon or pressing and holding an empty spot. You can set the date and time and even choose which list you want to add the reminder to. To edit an existing calendar, tap the eye icon and this will bring up the options to update the calendar details. Clearly, I love adding emojis, but once you're finished, just select done. To add a new calendar, tap add calendar at the bottom, then give it a name. My calendars include home life, get it done slash personal, events, appointments, family, wellness, content, legendary digital task, finances, and of course, self-care. All right, y'all know I love me some Pinterest. So let me show you guys how I customize my calendar colors using color palettes with hex codes. Once I find a color palette I'm filling, I head back to the calendars, tap on the eye icon, and then select color. From there, tap custom, and this is where you can enter the hex code you found on Pinterest. You can also use the dropper tool to grab the exact color you want for your calendar. Once you've got it, just hit back and then done and you'll see it show up. To create an event, tap the plus icon or press and hold any open spot on the calendar. From here, just add your title and the cool part is the calendar understands how you normally talk. So if you type date night this Saturday at 6, it'll set the right date and time for you. You can also add the location, which is helpful, so you're not scrambling last minute trying to figure out where you're going. If you need to change your dates, you've got that option. In the next section, you can set your travel time to factor in your commute, then just hit done. You can also pick which calendar to add your event to, helping you keep everything organized. When it comes to alerts, lately I've been setting two so I don't forget one the day before, and then another one 30 minutes before the appointment. At the bottom, you can add attachments, websites, notes, anything you may need for your appointment. One of my go-to hacks for Apple Calendar is using Siri to stay on top of my schedule. Hey Siri, schedule my nail appointment for Saturday at 3 p.m. 
Another little hack is when you're in the day view, swipe across the top to move forward or back a week. My next hack, just like on the iPad, is to drag and drop appointments to different days or times to easily reschedule. My final hack is to add the calendar and reminders widgets to your home screen. They let you see what's coming up at a glance. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any Apple Calendar tips of your own, drop them in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys are using. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one.